All right, we're here to um, test fit the HQ Monara outer door belt. Ours, when supplied, are straight. However, what I want to demonstrate today is how, by putting this very front screw in, and then the second screw from the back in, all you need to do is press down in the middle, starting from about here, Put that screw in, that screw in, that screw in, then work your way back to these two rears, rear back ones. You'll find that the door belt actually takes shape. Unless you try it, you won't be able to tell. Now, I'll just show you the edges before we start with no scratches. Now we'll go to and, and, and fit it up. Alright, I've just taken this out of Rare Spares packet. Yes, it is dead straight. Um, however, I'm going to demonstrate to you but by fitting it the way I just um, said before, it takes shape. Okay? So, as I said before, I'll put this front screw in. I'll then put this back screw in. And then the middle one, and then I'll just work my way up there. Once I've got all the screws and clips in, I'll then put the moulding on. So, put on to start with, I'll just open that door, bring that up here. Now, as you can see, if you go back a bit there, Shane, you'll see how it's high through here. Alright? So, first thing, I'll put this front clip in. important that you make sure that the clip finishes it up nice and straight. We'll come to the back and to begin with you need to hold that in and just press it down to the hole. Straighten that clip up. close that door and we'll work our way through. So the next one I'm going to do is here. Now you can see how far up it is and watch how easy it goes down. All right. Even though the shape of this door belt looks like it's got a lot of strength in it, it still quite easily bends to the shape. Again, a little bit of pressure down here. This is all into the original holes. I've fitted quite a number of these over the years and never had a problem. Push down on that. Get that. Oops. might be one of our next shed talk videos so we'll get a nice good quality video of it and then come back here for the last one Putting the mouldings on these, even with original belts, can be a bit of a tough exercise, especially on the hands, trying to belt the moulding on. But I've got myself a nice, very soft rubber mallet. That helps with the process. So, that's the belt on there without actually knocking it on. Let's get 
Okay. So what we'll do is we'll get this front one on first. And then we'll just work our way along. Normally I try and hook the top of the clip over and then knock the bottom on. I wouldn't try this with a normal rubber mallet, you'll damage the moulding. This is a special rubber mallet for knocking mouldings on. So there it is. That moulding will probably go along just a touch. Now, the way I see it, that's about as good as it needs to get. You've seen that go on in real time. There's no tricks. Sure, the moulding is slightly low here, but nothing that um, really stands right out to the eye. All right. That's all there is to it.